Hey guys, Songo here with another video. I've not been recording in quite a while because I'm just trying, well, I'm also playing a lot of other games, of which I might show on the channel, particularly Defiance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe Democracy 3? Yeah, really old games. But, okay, so, uh, we're gonna start. They have a pretty decent line. Hmm. Okay, taking natural perspective and going to help them. Or, help Artanis, that is. Yeah, um, I've been just trying to, uh, get better at Lunara. Her auto attacks are dreadfully slow. And it's quite annoying, actually. Looks like there's only one person here, so I'll help Top. Which has Murky. I actually don't really want to help Top. Hmm. Because Murky probably deserves to die. Just going to apply my just applied my W, which increased the uh, poison on those two. Of course, Rhaegar can just uh, AoE heal all of my poison, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, just gonna apply some to him. <clears throat> and again, yeah. Just trying to make sure he's going to have to keep healing. Uh, and hopefully drain through his mana. Looks like Bot Shrine is coming up. And I've not accomplished my goal of, uh, making him use up a lot of mana. Okay. Looks like I can win that. And just applying a little extra poison to her. Since... Uh, I was already there, or something like that. She already had it on her. Yes, that's it. Intruders. That's precisely the phrasing I wanted. And just gonna run away, and I'm gonna die to Rexar. Oh, or Rhaegar, rather, but I didn't. So, yay. I'm gonna take a w Oh, right, a minute left. Uh, okay, I'm go Okay, I'm dead. Oh, okay. He wasn't focusing me. That's good. Uh, so, just gonna try and poke down this one. And Lunar's gonna die before she can get to her thing and watch it. Or, I hope so. Damn. That sucks. Okay, gonna run away from the orc so I am not helping him respawn quicker. Okay, uh, Nimble Wisp, because I want to be able to have my vision go faster than I do. And I'm out. I am out of mana, and out of health, and I've got my thing up. Hmm. Yep, I know. That's why I'm going back in. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh. Okay. Just applying the poison. If, amplification, that is. And she's gonna have to run through there. And slowing down. Poking him. Okay. Uh, and I should be able to dance. Okay, well, just gonna apply some weak poisons. Sending my wisp over there so they can't. Uh, okay. Blank around, that is. Ah, phew. And now I really want to go back. I have no mana. <laughs> oh, that was pretty hectic. 
I think I'm finally getting used to Lunar's really, really, really slow auto attack windups. Which, if you move during a an auto attack windup, it puts the auto attack on cooldown, and uh, well, <laughs> also cancels the auto attack. So you just have to sit still for a little bit, and let's pick up. Splintered Spear, which gives me AoE on my auto attacks after I, seek the I use my Q, sending my <laughs> Wisp out to, uh, yeah. You know Zagara's, uh, Splinter, or er, triple hit thing, talent that no one takes? Uh, come up here. Don't let Leoric kill me. Okay, Leoric is middle. Uh, <laughs> well, this is basically, er, uh, this splintered spear thing is basically that, except, um, you get a slight amount more and he's gonna heal up, but, yeah. That's an inevitability. Okay, this should, damn it. I hoped the bonus range would have allowed, uh, me to hit him from behind the wall thing. Run away, Wisp! Run away! Okay, sending the Wisp back down there. And yeah. Amplifying the damage over time. And generally just trying to uh, annoy Rhaegar! Rhaegar! That's exactly who I wanted to say. And I'm not being sarcastic that time. Awesome! That went really well. Uh, let's send a wisp out so we've got vision of those bushes. And I'm kind of low on health right now. Ah, I'm cancelling my auto attacks. God damn it. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna try and help them down there, although I've got a really, oh, uh, I'm going for a more poking style, let's go with Thornwood Vine, cool, and just increasing the duration of the poison. My Wisp is back up, so, and you're dead. Oh, not quite, damn. Oh, good job, good job. Very good, good halt there, Artanis. Ah, uh, damn you. Okay, well, oh, uh, he was right by me. That was actually rather scary. So, Rhaegar should be... I keep getting Rhaegar and Rexar mixed up. It's really annoying. <laughs> I guess I should just stop playing Rexar. Since Rhaegar is kind of a really good counter to Lunara. Since he has AoE heals. And a huge part of Lunara is spreading around the AoE damage. Awesome. Oh, but someone picked up, uh, how do you say, cleanse. And, what? Oh. Ah, uh, I did not notice that Tychus did that. Uh, well, that's fun. Uh, okay, uh, they are going to take mercenaries. Yes. And now a shield for more than Murky's entire life pool. And now th my wisp actually just wore off. They did did not ever spot it. So I'm sending this over here. Someone should probably kill that camp. But <clears throat> oh god, uh, I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't do anything except run and not die. Oh, uh, why do you run back in? Uh, so, like, yeah. 
screw off. Rexar, or Rhaegar, or fuck you. Come on, attack Lunar! What the fuck? Uh, well, that minion needed to die, I guess. Uh, careful. And just gonna do that so that uh, he accidentally hits my wisp instead of me. Yeah, the wisp can be used as a. Uh, uh, there, hit her XR because of that. <clears throat> and increasing duration on poison. And. Hmm. Do I want greater spell shield? Kind of. I've got AoE right now, which allows me to get those guys. Okay. Uh, I think I actually want range here so that I can uh, more easily catch them I'm on the wrong side. Or right side, or whatever. What side is the right side, though? What are you even talking about? I've got no fucking idea. Uh, but... Come on. Please attack. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't have a slow for you yet. Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you so much! And, gonna slow... Er, rather... Apply my AoE. And... Just good job, team. Okay. We are actually killing them rather. Oh, right, I've still got 10 seconds. You can actually check that down here. Which I try to do, but from playing in the beta where this was not a thing, it's actually really hard to adapt. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> the range increase. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that so easy. I'm taking attack speed uh, increase because that'll increase my actual damage as well as increase or er, rather oh whoa uh, decrease the amount of <laughs> time I have to sit still in order for my basic attacks to go off. And I'm out of mana. I could have just taken a well, but that would only have refilled like half my mana bar. And, well, we are j Wow, we're actually kind of stomping. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway. <clears throat> let's take this. Going to wisp out so that they don't come around from middle. Oh, right. I didn't explain this. Um, Splintered Spear, you use the, the Q, and you get, uh, three extra spears. Nope, up to two extra spears, which have a slightly longer range, and allow for that kind of harass. It's really ineffective if you just use a single attack, but, okay. Uh, send my wisp over here, keep an eye on them, and they're gonna try and kill it. Yes, derp. Just one half extra second, and I would have been able to, to simply, uh, remove, or er, remaneuver it. And gonna hurt Tychus. And now I've got bonus attack speed. So, yeah. They healed up, but... Okay. And... Ha ha ha. Die, Lunara. Uh, why is my wisp over here? I probably used it in panic so that I had it off cooldown. And just gonna... Oops, I missed that really hard. And the shrine was up, but I intentionally... No, I actually did not hear that the shrine was up. But I am going now. And in fact, Murky could probably have done this entirely fine on his own. 
because Murky. Yay. At least I'm not playing against him. Uh, so. Uh, we've got our mercs that we can take. Lunar's not the best at taking mercs if you don't build for it. In fact, Lunar's not really the best at anything if you don't build specifically for it. But, uh, I'm trying. Uh, slows. So powerful. Oh, hey, uh, Tychus. Why did you not kill my wisp? Okay, well, Galloping Gate because they don't really have any CC that I need to worry about. And gonna slow Artanis, which should stack with the... Okay, and just backing off, since I don't really have anything to contribute with, except for my auto attacks. So, getting blinded is kind of a death sentence. Oh, look at Artanis trying melee with Nara. Without the Zealot's Charge. It's actually kind of cute. And... Well, this was kind of an easy game. Uh, for my impressions over the last week or so that I've been trying to play him, or play her, uh... <clears throat> well, it's basically... She doesn't do anything particularly well. If you want damage over time, play Kel'Thas. You want auto attacks, which this character is based around, play Rainer. You want vision, play Tyronda or Zagara. Hell, want damage over time, play Zagara because of her summons, which don't require you being in someone else's range for, like, yeah. <coughs> And you can just back out, which is kind of the point of damage over time, but, uh, the way they implemented it here, uh, well, eh. Anyway, have a good day, and have fun. Well, I guess I could go over my talents, since Tally Time is doing that. It seems like a good idea. So I took natural perspective for vision uh it's vision's just really powerful it really is uh and so having if you've got vision then you know when they are going to try and flank around from disengaging and also it helps you get a retributive kill on any stealthy that wants to kill you Nimble Wisp, because otherwise the Wisp is slower than you are, so it's not really providing a lot of benefit if you're... So, also, Vision Radius increased. That's pretty decent. And it also lets it outrun some unmounted... Uh, characters? Heroes? Yes, heroes. Splintered Spear, as I've explained in the video. Let's me just attack something and then get two extra spears that go on to someone else further back in the ranks. Which is great for spreading out the damage over time. Thornwood Vine. The leap is... <clears throat> Thornwood Vine. I took it for the poking kind of style I did this video. <laughs> the other uh, ultimate is really good for bursting someone down. But they had two frontliners, and I really did not want to put myself behind them. Of course, you can leap out, and they didn't really have any CC to stop me from doing that. But... I picked it up. They're both equally viable. Which is something that's pretty odd to say for quite a few ultimates in this game. Especially Kel'Thas's. Pestering Blossom increases the range. Her talents at this tier aren't fantastic, but it works. It really works. So, that's what... <clears throat> they work. And 
I just pick Pestering Blossom just because. It didn't really help that much. Invigorating Spores, as I explained, increases attack speed, which means that I'm spending less time sitting on the ground trying to let my attack wind up so that I can actually move away. Wasn't really needed. Uh, and Galloping Gait, the ability that I always forget to use, but I really didn't need it this game. And it increases attacks or er, move speed quite significantly, even more quickly than what's it called? That siege tank, Lieutenant, no, Sergeant, yes, Sergeant Morales by 20%. If you took the increased uh, slow rate, slow effect here, you'd be moving at three times the speed of anyone who you slowed, which is pretty significant for escaping and chasing, but yeah, pretty kind of stompy. Oh well, have a good day. Bye.